initial expectations? Like, what were you hoping for before we started talking about the design? My initial thought was we were just going to take a tiny little arm or a tiny little hand and put it on his elbow, and he was just going to be able to, you know, hold on to a bike or hold on to a scooter. And then to see what it is now, like, I would have never thought that that would have been possible. <laughs> started with one guy releasing a blueprint because he was missing fingers and it went to you know somebody that was missing a wrist to being powered by an elbow to somebody who's missing you know like it started out as something very small to something that it is now two arms and I'm better than you and you don't need to make fun of me because I'm no different. He's going to have an idea in his head now that he's not different because when people pick on him it, it makes him feel you know like I can't do anything about it but now he'll be able to feel like he can in a year from now say I need it an inch bigger and it be printed out in a couple hours for only twenty dollars more is way different than having an arm made for you that's like $40,000 and that's it, that's what you get. It doesn't get to be resized in a year, it doesn't get to change, that's what you get. It is what it is and he can come to you and say, oh well, I broke this piece and you can print it out for him and it be ready to go. And it fits to him, like you just measure it and that's, that's his arm. It's not like it's made one size fits all. That's the beauty of 3D printing. That's the beauty of 3D printing. <laughs>